Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we're going to be taking a look at yet again another one of my pickups this time from the third wave of Yeezy releases. These are the Yeezy Foam Runners in the Stone Taupe colorway. Let's take a quick CP. <music> joining us for the first time welcome in congrats to anyone who was able to take a w thus far on the most recent yeezy drops we are now continuing on to the third wave of releases and this is the first one that arrived so we are going to today be discussing the yeezy foam runner in this really cool stone toe color scheme we'll go through the overview on these jump into size and fit there were some issues with the sizing on this uh, then we'll talk about how I style this really nice neutral tone and then conclude with how well these are currently doing on the resale market. Let's jump right into it. So as far as color schemes go, I don't know what's going on with the Foam Runner color variations, but they are getting so close in vicinity to the exact technical color way of which each of these look like. So I am honestly having a hard time telling some of these apart. The last Foam Runner we did on the channel was the Stone Salt, which was quite similar to this, but a little bit more on a bluish tone scale of things where this is more brown. I would say out of all the foam runner colorways to release, the closest one I've done on the channel is probably the Stone Sage, uh, but this one definitely has a more kind of brown, khaki, darker hue to it since I guess the name is Stone Taupe, uh, but definitely more on a brown scale of things if you're trying to understand the color differences between this and the most recent uh, stone salt to release. So you see this colorway pretty much all over throughout as well as the interior and on the bottom of the outsole of the foam runner itself. So let's take a look at this and then jump into size and fit. So as far as size and fit goes, I actually brought out a, another pair of foam runners. They're exact same size. Also, as you know, most of the foam runners that do have the swirls are actually made in China. Other than that, if they don't have that special swirl, a majority of them are made in the US. Uh, I did, for some reason, see that on the stone salt, those were made in China. I was very confused because that was a solid colorway. But these are so tiny. I don't know what the process is when they make these, but clearly there's something as far as shrinkage must be some case scenario because these are actually both size eights. And as you can kind of see, 
Look at the difference on the toe and even just like the spacing here is tiny. So I can't even fit these at all. And that is actually me going half a size up from my normal size range. As you know, foam runners do not go in half size ranges. So I always say at least go half a size up if you are middle size range like myself. I honestly would have to probably go with a size nine, meaning I would have to go in a full size and a half up just in order to fit these. Uh, but again, this is clearly more of a size seven uh, as far as sizing goes. So maybe they made a mistake and actually tagged these wrong, but this is by far not a size eight in men's. I'll even show you here just so you can kind of see side by side the key differences. This is definitely much longer in length than this variation is. So definitely a disclaimer. If you are somebody who snagged a pair of these, let me know your thoughts if yours are extremely small in comparison to the other foam runners you may have received in the past, but these definitely are not the correct size. All right, so now let's talk about how I style this color scheme. So for the first look, I decided to wear a white, uh, tank which had some nice kind of frill to it and then for the bottoms i wore a ribbed maxi gray skirt you are, yeah, you know it's real. no question if she like attention i gotta give it to her yeah you know the deal i'm a boss i swipe that for you girl you look good you top 10 amazing spark a new flame i like that for you yeah tell me what you want i like that too baby three miles like the plugins on this damn song i cracked them all you know I love it when you got that ass bouncing on me like a basketball, baby, you could have it all. Only title that I get. Now for the second look, I decided to go all taupe for monochromatic fill with a tank in a taupe tone with a matching pair of pants. Waves that I'm on, yeah. Saying that she love me, so I'm playing along. Look in the direction that she taking it off. And I can't stop thinking about your curves yeah. Teach you about the bees and the birds Then I eat the cake like dessert She gon' buzz it over real quick for real I'ma drop it in like vert Got a super bad bitch, feel like Jonah Hill Look at how she walk and you know it's real No question, if she like attention I gotta give it to her, yeah After the last and final look, I went with a khaki skirt That was a mini skirt And then for the top, I wore cream and navy sleeveless vest Girl, you look good, you top 10 amazing Spark a new flame, I like that for you Tell me what you want, I like that too, baby Yeah, I like that I do. Grabbing on your left cheek with my right hand, tight pants, got me feeling the top of way. If you want it, I could give it to you all day. Name a time and a place, but I'll pull up. Yeah. Dinner for the day, we could cook up. Yeah. yeah. Take you down in the kitchen right after you hit the road. Yeah. Swim, swim. All right, so as far as retail goes, these retailed at $90. They're currently going right now between 125 to 160. Congrats to anyone who was able to cop a pair of these and uh, stay tuned for any of my new and upcoming videos for the third wave of Yeezy releases. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We will catch you all on the next episode. Bye.